Y'all stop arguing over there. Is that the dress that they wouldn't take back at Target? Honey, a blind man can see that you wore that dress already. Well, of course, honey, everybody gonna kick the bucket one day. Now, ain't that the truth? <laughs> you know, uh, when my daughter was young, about five years old, there was a store we would always go to. I think it was called Brookstone. And they had all these neat kind of gadgets in there. And uh, she found this little house or a little kit where it had seeds for, or not seeds, but eggs for a caterpillar. And everything you need to know to, to grow that little thing up. So we bought it and took it home and it became her heart. I tell you, she would go outside and find all kinds of leaves and feed that thing until it grew fat and and, and one day she came back to me and she said, Mom, something happened to my caterpillar. It ain't in there no more. So I go and I look. And of course, in place of the caterpillar was its cocoon. I just had to tell her, baby, that's its house. She said, well, how am I going to feed it? It don't got no doors and no windows. How am I going to feed it? I said, honey, you got to let God take care of that. Your caterpillar is okay. So, you know, that saved me some time. She was okay with that story. Until a few days later, you know. She comes back to me and she says, Mom, the house is open, but there's no caterpillar. So I run in there and I look. And of course, the cocoon, as we would call it, the house as she knows it, <laughs> is open. Ain't no caterpillar to be found. But in the corner, there was this beautiful butterfly with its wings outstretched. I had to sit her down and explain it to her. I says, uh, baby, your caterpillar is still here. It's just changed. It's transitioned. You know? And God does us that like that sometimes, too. He allows us to walk this earth. And then one day, before we know it, he gives us wings. Wings to fly. So just remember, you know, because things don't appear or look the way you want them to look or that you're accustomed to having them look or feeling, doesn't mean that they're gone. It just means that they've transitioned, that they've changed. You see, because love and the soul never dies. It's always there. You just got to find it in a different way. Now, girl, bring me that bag I'm dressed so I can sew it. I don't know what you was doing, picking cotton or something. How you gonna try to take that dress back to Target looking like that? Bring it on.